Welcome back. We were talking about technology a while earlier, and that's because news filtered in that social media giant's Twitter was in talks to buy another app, Clubhouse, for $4 billion. We have to point out that discussions are no longer ongoing. The audio app, Clubhouse, is just a year old, having been founded in April last year during the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. It recently reported 10 million weekly active users. Back here in Nigeria, investment in tech startups is growing. American payments company Stripe recently paid $200 million for Nigerian payments company Paystack. Another Nigerian payments company, Flutterwave, is now valued at a billion dollars following a recent $170 million investment. Business journalist Nasir Agbalaya is joining us this morning to understand the reason behind the tech growth. Good morning, Mr. Agbalaya. Good morning. Do you think tech valuations are justified? Yeah, definitely they are. Uh, it's a new trend right now in the world that uh, fintechs, uh, startups, and tech fairs, they are the, in the gold mines which uh, all investors want to have a uh, chunk in. Now, many people regretted that they didn't invest in Apple, uh, in Twitter, in Facebook. So now they want to lash on to anything that is coming out there. And interestingly, sub saharan Africa has had uh, a, say, uh, many startups which have a uh, potential to be scaled, and that means they can make money. So investors are always out for such a thing. You mentioned earlier that uh, Flutter Wave and uh, Facebook, uh, Flutter Wave and Facebook. Now these are examples of uh, viable companies. There are many more like that in Nigeria, in Kenya, South Africa, across Africa, which have been doing well and definitely have been uh, say, attracting investments to Africa. All right, uh, 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 fintech uh, um, seem to be getting the most investments currently. Uh, is there any reason why that is? Now, because they are scalable, that means they can be uh, expanded. Uh, they have uh, applications, uh, uh, uses in their particular sphere, and also they can be modified uh, to uh, for expansion. The bottom line here is these companies can make profit. For that reason, any investor would want to be part of that particular story. So, yes, we'll see more of this. And definitely, this is just the beginning. So what other areas of tech do you see growing apart from financial technology companies? Oh, practically, agriculture is the first thing that uh, comes to mind. Um, Farm Crowdy and some other staff of in Nigeria are already doing wonders in this sphere. Now, education, edutech also have been coming up. So I mentioned earlier that the sky is the limit. Let me rephrase that. The sky is the beginning. Right now, fintechs are here to stay. And the more uh, we say, emphasize on STEM learning, science, technical education, and mathematics, the more of these that we will be having in Nigeria and across Africa. OK, and of course, um, bringing it down here to Nigeria, you just mentioned, uh, is there a way that we can also use tech to further develop and uh, build a better Nigeria? And, you know, how much more support do you think that Nigerian um, tech startups need to get? Wonderful question. Now, Nigerian government, uh, they are trying to do more, say, uh, assist them with funding. Uh, I recall of late the uh, AFDB, that's the African Development Bank, and Nigeria, they're partnering to do just that and assist startups well, with the initial grant uh, to literally get them off the ground. Now, aside from this, uh, you know, we know that there are many uh, investors who really uh, invest in this sector. Now, about the main question, Nigeria will gain a lot from this. Uh, the country like India is where it is right now because it's just in education. And now India literally exports uh, human capital to everywhere in the world. If you look at many Fortune 500 companies, uh, you have uh, an Indian person or, or a person of Indian descent who heads this company. Nigeria can be that in the next uh, say five to 10 years. 
if we constructively invest in uh, human capital development. And, and where do you think this you know, um, investment should go directly? Uh, should it be infrastructure or should it be really in the um, internet space here in Nigeria? It's not just a, a one size fit all. The solution is yes, infrastructure, but not just that. Improving uh, the individual, starting from when we are in primary school. The curriculum needs to be further revamped. I know that some states in Nigeria, they are doing that this currently. But it needs to be across board, not just in the uh, private schools, but in state and federal government schools also. Now, uh, there are many things, some attempts which coding is being taught in Lagos. This needs to be taken to the public schools also. Now, if, if a child is good in mathematics or uh, can do wonder with his or her hand, this person needs to be encouraged. Once we start doing that, we'll find that many people will be able to solve solutions locally. We don't need to uh, bring in expertise. We can solve our problems ourselves. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot, uh, Nasir Agbalaya, for speaking with us. Uh, of course, uh, we as uh, Plus TV Africa completely encourage the information technology and, of course, FinTech uh, space in Nigeria. We would love to have more conversations about this. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Good to be here. Yes, have a great right. day. So we'll take a break now and uh, return to have that security conversation we told you about.